to do a uh, back to regular lesson after the final. Um, today, talking about the concept of memes, especially internet ones, which are very popular nowadays, and kind of the whole movement behind what might make them more dangerous than they see them. Because you know, a lot of the time you view them as you know funny. Um, you hang out with your friends. So just specifically a definition of what a meme is, uh, it's just a part of culture right, or a system of behavior. If you repeat the same things a lot, that's a meme, right? So if you see your friend and you guys watch um, a drama, if you guys saw a funny uh, clip from a movie, and you repeat the line said in it, that's what a meme is, right? Um, the, often in different forms, so pictures, videos, etc. Um, a lot of the times, especially in Korea, I feel, a lot of memes are phrases, uh, especially on popular movies. And so obviously different cultures, demographics, countries, and groups would have their own individual ones. Right? Uh, the ones that I see when I'm you know, going to the websites I go to, probably you guys won't see them. Um, obviously the ones you guys see, probably I won't see them. So two specific ones uh, in Korea. <laughs> Um, so let's start from the bottom. This is, one, this is actually one of my favorite ones. <laughs> so, does anyone know if, if everyone knew the joke behind this picture, what would you say to somebody that knows, to, like, so they would identify it? What's like the most famous phrase with that picture? Um, right. So, <clears throat> because, so this was a social event that happened, a lot of people thought it was funny. And if you recognize it, then you can just say that phrase. Right? Um, is this considered a bad thing? Well, maybe or maybe not. Um, but it was considered pretty funny when it came out. Um, the one on the top, just a popular video series that I hear people repeat a lot um, behind me. Um, so both of these are now examples of creative memes. If I showed this to some of my American friends, they would have no idea what was going on. Right? But obviously, same thing for them and you guys. So just establishing what memes are. <coughs> so, you know, the one before, you know, it's not dangerous to talk about it when it's just a funny thing about a girl, kind of, you know, mean to her older uh, person. But what's the danger in this? So, when you hear the word dog whistle, so I mean, just a very, so let's say, <laughs> Yeah, yes. So, <laughs> when you breathe into a dog whistle, what's the purpose of it? Why would you breathe into this dog whistle? What happens when you breathe into it? <laughs> so, when do people usually use this? Dogs. So usually uh, when a dog is like misbehaving, then you blow into this, and then the dog, it hurts them, right? Uh, they stop doing it. Can people hear this? No. no, right? So only the dog can hear this, and that's why it's called a dog whistle, right? Because only certain people can hear it. So the point of this then is that for a certain meme or certain kind of jokes that seem funny, but have kind of darker undertones, they're called dog whistles, right? <clears throat> For example, does anyone, has anyone ever seen this term or know its significance? So let's say you're on the internet, you see a name like on a forum and it says, name 1488, anyone know? So in America, this phrase specifically is like a Nazi, like Nazi phrase. Um, it stands for a very long phrase, but there's no doubt about it that people who intentionally put this you know, as their number, as like their profile name, they're doing this because they want to show to other people that, you know, hey, we're fellow uh, people who hate certain ethnicities. Um, if a normal person sees this, 
They have no idea what's going on. They're like, oh, this is just 1488. But to you know, a person who considers himself uh, aligned with this kind of ideology, then 1488 makes sense. So talking specifically then about you know, the whole act of hate, we have something called the alt-right. So actually, you've heard about it before. They're very, you know, you obviously see, even though they started before, you see a major uprise in 2016. Um, Sajin, why would, were they famous in 2016? <laughs> what was a major event in America that happened in 2016? Right, so the presidential election. And John, who won the 2016 presidential election? Right. So knowing what you know about Donald Trump, how would you describe his political beliefs as an ideology. Get, uh, get a in this so anti-immigration. What else? Anything else? Say just anti terrorist in terms of what he, uh, what you know, people in the administration probably decree themselves. So, when you see the word right, would you align that to Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton? Donald Trump. Right. So, obviously, the people who consider themselves part of the alt right uh, would support Donald Trump. Um, Donald Trump himself, um, yeah, a lot of people would say he's a mean master, right? Um, Chiwon, um, <clears throat> do you know what Donald Trump's like, very famous phrase is? Um, so, what does this mean? So I mean, obviously it was really popular. You obviously saw a majority of it in the hats, right? The red hats that have the words on it. I mean, this is, you know, some people would say, kind of a meme. It's just, it's fun to say. Um, everyone who says it. So if you say "magnet" to somebody, if you say "make America great again," you're saying, like, you know, I'm a Donald Trump supporter. Let's hang out. Um, another famous one. So whenever you know people uh, challenged him on his uh, beliefs with Mexico, he would often respond with this: "You know, the wall just got ten feet higher," referring to the wall he wants to build on the border. This obviously, once again, is very popular for people to say it's funny. You know, it's everyone just loves him. Um, he's quick, uh, really easy to repeat lines that you know uh, make him really popular, right? If we think about the alt right, um, so the, you know, alternate alt. So when you think about people who are usually, like, let's say, right, it'd be, especially because we know demographics, it'd be older people, you know, they have uh, less education, less money. So that's the normal right. The alt right. Um, obviously, they say our beliefs are a little different, our demographic is a little different. So you have them younger, right? 
They are educated, usually at college. So these people, unlike these people, you know, they're old, they don't really know how to use the internet. These people, you know, they're young, they use the internet a lot, and they spread a lot of support for Donald Trump, right? Especially in the form of meme. So when you see these kind of pictures, let's see um, why some of them might be misconstrued. So this is a pretty common one. You might see on sort of alt-right website. Um, <clears throat> let's see. T1. Um, so what's the significance of Jerusalem? Jerusalem. So he, do you know what word Jerusalem refers to? Right, so what is Jerusalem itself? That's up. Um, so Jerusalem is a city, do you know what country? Or what region? Okay, yes, yeah. So Middle East. If you, you know, in Christianity, obviously, very famous city. Probably one of the most important cities, right? Um, Minyang, who, what demographic mostly lives in the Middle East? Demographic. What kind of people in the Middle East? Like, uh, let's, let's just say, like, a country like Iraq. What kind of people live there? So when you see that picture, it's obviously a guy in a suit of armor. Does anyone know what the Crusades were? Sumi? Mm. Do you know what the Crusades were? Or have any idea? Was it a war? Yeah, so it was a war, but between who and what kind of what was the purpose of it? Right, so yeah, so <laughs> you're, not, you're not wrong. Right? So, Crusades happened a really long time ago, right? way before uh, we're talking about like, the invention of you know, gunpowder. Like I said, it's knights, suits, swords. Right? So, many years ago, so the Pope, he declared that. Um, the region of the Middle East, which used to be you know, part of the Byzantium Empire, which was you know, part of the Roman Empire, it uh, you know, was full of Muslims, um, you know, Christians were being persecuted. So he declared a holy war, and a lot of people went from Europe to the Middle East to fight. Right? That's the, part of the first crusades. So, obviously, a lot of Christians like, you know, fought with Muslims, and it was you know, a very large war. So when somebody posts a picture like this, or somebody makes a joke like this, what do you think the underlying meaning is then? Are they referring to the fact that they want to like fight in this you know, centuries old war? Like what's, knowing what we know here, so, soil. Uh, um, what do you think the underlying meaning for this would be? So if I posted this, what am I trying to say to other people that might like, have the same idea as me? Who is this guy trying to kill? If we, so going back to what the Crusades were about. Or like what demographic, what religion? Don't know. Yeah. So it refers to Muslim. So if you're posting this, you're kind of saying to other people who don't like Muslims, like you know, uh, you know, it's pretty funny. Like um, instead of just saying, you know, I hate Muslims, you would just kind of make jokes about this um, because of the underlying. Backstory. 
So normal person might see this and think, oh, you know, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's just like maybe this guy, like his, this guy likes history, or maybe the suit of armor, the historical references. But, you know, a lot of the times, you're just kind of, it's just kind of a dog whistle. Right? He is on, is on hold. So this one, this one is kind of weird. You see it a lot on Twitter. So you have a name. And then you have, does anyone know what this is referring to when a name is So, sorry. So, let me see. So, name Harmon. Do you know what culture that name comes from? No. So, it's Jewish. So, <clears throat> this, you know, three parentheses on each side. When somebody is talking, so let's say I make a post and I say, I like Dan Harmon. And I put these three parentheses on each side. When other people read this, if they understand what it's talking about, it just means that this person is Jewish, right? It's like a target, right? So on people's names, when they're talking about them in public, they're gonna put three parentheses on each side, and it means that they're Jewish. Um, obviously, when we talk about <clears throat> the alt right, um, disliking Jewish people, disliking Jewish, you know, uh, history is part of their one of their concepts. So this triple parentheses is just um, a way you identify that, right? I mean, it's kind of a, it's kind of like a really mean joke about like, you know, kind of targeting them. But regardless, this is directly referring to this person being Jewish. Um, this one, actually, so a lot of these, you know, normal people might not see and not understand what they are. But this one. A lot of times you see it like this. I would say it's very popular even among normal people just because it is kind of acceptable to hate on black people. So, uh, the phrase Kangs goes back to the word king. So it's just kind of making fun of somebody's pronunciation. So, um, going back to country of Egypt, um, um, what do you know about ancient Egypt's like government? What kind of government did they have in ancient Egypt? You know the name of their ruler, what's it called? Ah. Pharaohs. Yeah, pharaohs, right? Yeah. So, obviously a long time ago, um, Egypt was ruled by pharaohs, you know, these kings. Um, and, you know, Egypt is in Africa. And this, so this is just to make sure that you know, nobody gets confused. In Africa, there's a lot of people with different skin you know, colors, but just because they're from Africa doesn't mean like, that's their typical black skin that we think about. But regardless, you know, pharaohs, some pharaohs you know, had very dark skin, they were, you know, they were black. Um, a kind of subset of you know, African Americans, a uh, very small one, so because you know, this, a lot of the time these kind of jokes punch down, right? So you're making fun of these groups but they don't really have enough power. So, you know, they said, um, if you're from Africa, you're kind of, you 
might be a descendant of these kings, right? So you might have royal blood in you. You might make you a more special person. So these people then are making fun of this idea, right, that um, African people are kind of special. So it's making fun of two things immediately, right? So pronunciation, like, oh, Af some African Americans are uneducated, they can't pronounce words correctly. The other one is just like the concept that Af African people might be special. Um, saying that, oh, these people, they think that um, they used to like, belong to royalty, that's stupid. So, Kangs, and when you see this image, um, it's very stereotypical. I mean, so, uh, someone wearing a hoodie. I mean, this is the, you know, it transcends culture, so Kunu, what? When you see a person wearing a hoodie, or if you, you know, if you're watching a TV show, and the guy is wearing a suit, and the guy is wearing a hoodie, what does that tell you about the both of them? So a suit versus a hoodie, what's the difference? Would you wear a hoodie to a job interview? No. So, you know, one is considered high class, other one kind of low class. You know, if you, so if you, uh, if you see somebody, you know, walking around wearing a hoodie, especially, you know, in America, if you're African American, Someone might say, oh, this guy's up to no good. He's wearing a hoodie to hide his face. That's where it all comes from. So, <clears throat> now that I introduced uh, the concept, I want. So in groups, I want every, so each group is gonna have a different question. Um, kind of a brainstorm. So you have a couple minutes to think about it, and then um, you can just, I'll call in your names. So question one, so it'll be you three. Right, so group one, so we're talking about, so when I say the first meme, we're talking about this one. So, constantly repeating, you know, the phrase that you guys said, um, is this okay to kind of use a real person as a meme? Right? That's just your question. Group two, so let's say you don't hate Muslim people, but you really like history, you really like this guy's suit of armor. You want to use this picture. You want to use this game. But you want to just say, you know, I don't hate Muslim people. I just like the picture, right? Is it okay to do that? Can you ignore the backstory of these, you know, memes? Uh, group three, just going back to this one. You know, so obviously, me, I'm older than you guys. 
I don't. Um, I probably don't go to the same websites as you. So, what are some more you know popular memes you can think of, you know, similar to this kind of stuff, um, that you guys just you know, in, in your age in Korea use? Uh, group four. Actually, so group four, you two, you, you guys can both do this. So, kind of um, make sure you, don't, you guys are talking about the same stuff. And then group five, which it will just be all you guys. Why should we care about this? Right? Why should we care about some guy in his basement? He's just posting these kind of pictures. You know, someone will say he's not actually going to hurt a Muslim person. Um, he's just going to post his picture, say I hate Muslims. Um, is it? Why is it not okay for him to just you know enjoy what he wants to do? Right? Yep. So for about five minutes, pop in your groups. Uh, and then I'll call on you guys, and then you guys will answer. Yeah, just talk.
not really famous, but anyway. Um, so, you know, especially for this one, it's kind of a negative thing. Um, uh, you, know, you, may, you may or may not disagree that she deserved it, but regardless, this group says we shouldn't use real people. If you're gonna use a meme, you know, use a fake one. Um, okay. Group two, um, is it okay for me? I just like history. I like this guy's suit of armor. I want to just use this as a meme. Can I, can I do that or not? Which is? <laughs> we, think, we think it isn't okay to use the synonyms without the background. Because, for example, uh, it is the memes about like, Yerusalem. And it is the religious war between Palestine and Israel. So it can be a very sensitive problem. Also, uh, it can be rude for people in cultures, specific cultures. Um, the other case is about memes about uh, African America. Uh, it can be uh, extend to racial discrimination. Right. Okay, so like you know, if every picture has a backstory, like you said. Um, if you use them, even without, even when saying. I um, mean, you know, I don't really care about the backstory. You know, it's still a very negative picture. It's right? so asking you guys a bit of um, group three. What was at least one meme that you guys found or thought of? Um, we just want to find that kind of a, like deep background, but we couldn't find it. So, like, so meme. Right. So first, we just found two, and the first one is someone called Zume. Say. <laughs> so like, who is it? Who's the guy? Like, sounded like how it sounded. The way he got.
there are like ordinary pictures of life in North Korea, like Kim Jong Un with his secretary or something, and Koreans just put their own subtitles on them. Right. So for this one, there's um him and his secretary were both looking at something, and Kim Jong Un asked the secretary, "Oh, can you eat that pig?" And he's like, "Oh, that's a mirror." Can you actually come up? And <laughs>
Just Google's career. What do you think? What? Who do you think would come up? Or what kind of thing would come up? Yes. Right. So, I mean, <laughs> BTS themselves have like these memes, right? If you go on YouTube comments, and you see all these people saying like. Army here, and that's part of their, their meme. And I was like, how? Oh, like, you know, we're army. Um, we're going to, you know, do this. So obviously, Korea nowadays has a good reputation, right? Just if you want to consider it like that. But you know, Muslim people, African American people, is not the same as you know being compared to a guy group, right? or just idols. Um, group five. Anyone else? Add on to what she said. Another explanation. So I mean, you know, the first point is good. People of different uh, people who are being targeted by these jokes might see them. What else? What's another bad reason for that? And what's another reason we shouldn't kind of engage in this activity? I mean, I'm going to help you guys. If you look at this image, it's kind of saying, like I said before, the image of a hoodie. You know, black people are scary, they're uneducated, they might be criminals. Is that true? Are black, all black people? No, it's not right. And if we, so, it would be something called a stereotype. What's a stereotype about Korean people that you guys think? Other people, other countries think? What do you guys think? A stereotype about Korean people? They have some problems. Okay, right. So, um, I have heard that before. Um, you know, from foreign people. You know, obviously because the concept that Korean eat food of water garlic. Um, once again, not really that negative. It's just something like smell. But um, if we continue these stereotypes, right, um, by just using the same jokes, because you know, talking like saying all oh, black people are criminals has been a joke for a very long time. Right? It's very easy material. Right? <clears throat> so just to summarize. We've, you know, we covered all these memes that you guys said, the putting text over pictures of real people, um, the $4 burgers at Burger King, um, all of these, you know, uh, these ones, these ones, all of these are jokes that some of us know, some of us don't know. We use them with our friends, we use them to kind of, you know, be closer together, right? If a group uh, all enjoys a joke, that means that like, everyone's in tune, like, oh, we all do the same thing. It's funny to say the same like, lines. Of, like, I, her catchphrase, I said that so many times uh, when this uh, came out. Like, obviously, it made you know, my friends uh, happy. It was funny for me. But let's just remember, too, that uh, part of this um, goes back to the dangers of you know, using these jokes uh, without knowing what so, yep, yeah, we're done for today. Um, next week, we're going to do the one-on-one uh, -on -one interview thing. Um, it's not graded, obviously, so you just gonna come out one by one. The um, rest of you just have independent study. And you'll also get your um, final grades next week. Um, because, obviously, oh yeah, if, you, if you didn't do it, just remember that um, the final essay was due yesterday, so if you didn't do it, then you still have time to submit it, but other than that. Okay, so thanks for that.